this is a little Winnie the Pooh sweat set. Yeah, that's cute. Good morning. Oh my god. Good morning. I got an order. What? And I thought I was getting better. Also, don't mind my shiny nose. It's so dry. I put Vaseline on it. I'm a I'm a mess. If this is your first video here, this is not a representation of who I am, okay? I mean, maybe it is, but um Stinky Pete from Toy Story sold last night, so I'm going to pack him up. So exciting. You're going to go to a new home. Hopefully Woody is there with um your new family as well. I'm bringing my tripod to the antique mall so I can get like better footage of me restocking it. I don't know why I've never done this. Maybe because I'm like scared to do it in public, but I go there before the malls even open, so it's just the staff. And the staff know by now that I film videos, like they've all seen it. So yeah, we're gonna bring my tripod and get some better footage of my booth. Mm -mm -mm, so excited. <laughs> Okay, here is the new kind of layout of how I'm going to film when I'm restocking my booth. Though I do feel like my head and my body was kind of blocking what I was adding to the shelves, so I may have to like point this more at an angle. But I just love how our booth is looking, and I love that I brought my tripod so you can kind of see everything, you have a better, you know, view. I did create a Littlest Pet Shop shelf because I brought a lot of Littlest Pet Shop items today, and my dad even had the idea of creating like different themes on our wooden shelf that we have just to the left there. Um, different themes for like Halloween and Christmas and just like random themes too. So I agreed and thought that would be fun. I did do a lot of reorganizing today. Like I moved a lot of the plushes just to the lower shelf there and I stuffed as many as I could into the baskets that we have because I just want the shelves to have more than just plushes on them. And I added a Bratz and iBrats speaker system that has never been used before. And I moved one of my InSync bobbleheads. I have two more InSync bobbleheads and I've had them forever. So if you're interested, they are available. Here's what everything is looking like. These are the Littlest Pet Shop toys that I brought. I already sold two out of the three mystery bags, so I'm bringing three more to the booth when I go there tomorrow. I added a little Webkins bag and Barat's little play cards, and these are Webkins signatures. They're a little more unique. Okay, I remembered to show you the end result this time. Pat on the back for me. We are gonna go to Value Village, one that I haven't been to in a hot minute. I'm very excited. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a 30% off coupon that they texted to me. So let's hope for some good stuff. Though I don't want to spend too much money because I am going garage sailing tomorrow with my dad. We didn't go last week, so we are itching, itching to go again. So that'll be fun. But yeah, okay, let's just um, see if we find anything at Value Village. I thought I hit the jackpot, but this brass little case was just not in the greatest condition. The handles were kind of falling apart, the paint was chipping, there was lots of tape residue on it, so I sadly had to leave it. I am a sucker for a scrapbook, and this is the kind that I had growing up. Also, I'm a sucker for these little books that you fill out all about me. I would have had so much fun with this back in the day. This Cat's Cradle game honestly shook me to my core because I forgot I had one and I took it everywhere with me, like on vacations, and I was a pro at everything Cat's Cradle, so let me know if you also had one. This place had a lot of video games today, like Spy Kids, a lot of Sims, this roller coaster one, the game of life. I had that growing up, and then my jaw dropped because I found a video now, and look, a Raven Simone disc was inside when it wasn't supposed to be. Like, I was destined to find this though it was super scratched so i was a little nervous but i bought it anyway there were some fun books today and a care bear little card game from the 80s something hannah montana had broken i couldn't find the rest of this so i don't know where that came from but there were some pezzes a phineas and ferb one a cute little stitch and hello kitty plush and then i did see this and thought it was kirby but it is not kirby i don't know what that is um, there were some cute bags, Hello Kitty and the Princesses, and three ninjas on VHS. Okay, this is what I picked up. Um, 
this Spy Kids CD-ROM Mega Mission Zone. I don't know what this is worth. I don't know if I should have picked it up. I had a coupon, as I said, so that's why I got some things I would normally not get. Um, this, On the Road with Miley All Access Pass. That is so cool. So I'm gonna put this in a Disney Channel bundle for sure. I picked up a cat's cradle that has never been used from 1993. I literally had one that looks exactly like this and I was obsessed. Like the different colored bands and everything, the string. This is so nostalgic to me. Like, oh my gosh, tell me if you guys had one of these. Like this is my childhood right here. I could do so many of these, couldn't today, but oh, that is so fun. Um, I did grab this um, Care Bears game because it's from the 80s. It's a little card game from the 80s. Ah, they're in here. They're still in here. These are so cute. So I had to grab them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm actually melting. I need to hurry up. Then I did pick up the Video Now discs for the sole reason that there's a Raven Baxter one, but as you saw, they're so scratched. They're all so scratched. So fingers crossed they work. I really want this one to work. I really do. But good news is the Wild Thornberries one, which is the one I'm missing, if you have watched all my videos, you know I found one of these at a garage sale and the wild thornberries was missing and I was devastated. We've got it. So at least we have that, but I want the raven one to work. Last but not least, this might be a knockoff, but it's so cute. Look at the floral bow. It's so soft and in great condition. Little Hello Kitty. But yeah, there's no tags on it, so I don't know if it's legit or not, but... I'm actually, I actually have to get the AC going. Okay, I just went to a garage sale and I didn't film it because there wasn't really much, but I got this Operation Simpsons game from 2005. My dad's gonna laugh because I like never buy board games and he's the board game guy, right? So they were saying there's a lot of sales around here, but like, I just don't know where, how to find them. Yeah, that's cute. Go through them if you're interested. I got a few more bins. If you're okay. anything in particular. Oh, yeah, no worries. Okay, I'm filming for TikTok, but look. Can you see? So sorry. It's working. It's working. Though it is like skipping a lot. A little behind the scenes of filming TikTok videos. It does work, but it skips a lot, a lot. Here's the wild thornberries one. It's working. Before my eyes, was a horrible monster. it works. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. We're out garage sailing. We're also gonna go to a nerd sale. If you are an OG fan, <laughs> we used to do the nerd sale. We used to have a table there. So we have a lot of fun things to film today. We just got an Elvis pillow. 50 cents is probably worth 20 bucks. Yeah. So that, that's going in the booth, right? Yeah. Yep. So let's see what we get today. Just a warning, I did not come home with many items, but I did film quite a bit, so stay tuned to see what I got. We did find a whole bunch of Groovy Girls things, but they wanted everything for $50, and I honestly just like don't have the space to pick up big lots like this. Like I wish I did, but there was a Groovy Girls boy that I rarely ever see, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I wish it was a little bit cheaper or I could buy things individually, but what can you do? Um, yeah, I'm just kind of sad that there wasn't many fun things that I wanted to take home. Every single garage sale, it seemed, that we went to just, like, didn't have things that we were interested in. Either they didn't have toys and games or all the toys were, like, newer and not vintage. So, yeah, a bit disappointing, but it's still a fun thing going garage sailing because, yeah, it's just, like, 
it's the thrill of the hunt, right? You just don't know what you're gonna come across. But I did end up stopping by the Nerd Sale. So here is some footage of that. So many games from Nintendo 64 to Wii to Xbox. There were some figures as well. There was like some Nightmare on Elm Street ones, which was really cool. Goosebumps on VHS, some Masters of the Universe. So yeah, the nerd sale is always fun to check out. They do have a page on Facebook and they have a sale every few months. So if you're into collecting and video games, you should definitely check it out if you live here in Edmonton. I used to have a booth there with, not a booth, a table there with my dad. We used to sell some stuff, but since we have the um, booth at the mall, we don't do that anymore. But yeah, just fun memories going to the nerd sale because that's kind of where I started doing all of my selling. Back at it with the garage sales, we did come across one that did have some vintage games, but sadly none that we wanted to take back to the booth. Some vinyls, honestly everywhere we went today there were so many vinyls, but we do not dabble in vinyls because we just don't know anything about it. Um, this garage sale was actually really cool. They had a lot of Barbies, like look at all of these little like Kelly dolls. I did end up grabbing these and some Madame Alexander dolls that my dad ended up grabbing. This was so cute. My jaw literally dropped when I found this. Uh, a little vintage Winnie the Pooh sweat set. You know I will be keeping that. I'm still shocked that I came across that. Um, there was a little Lilo in Stitch plush doll, but I just didn't know much about it if it was new or old. And I was so tempted to get this. Look how cute it is. It is a pink little alarm clock. Oh my goodness. I do think it was a little bit discolored. But, you know, it was so cute to see. These were Saturday Night Live, like, Halloween costumes. I don't know what year they are, but Will Ferrell kind of seems a little bit younger, so it must have been, like, vintage or something. And it was so funny because I do remember seeing this garage sale online, and I saw this picture of these plushes, um, and I was so excited to see this Hello Kitty plush. I was like, what a massive Hello Kitty plush. Like, I hit the jackpot, and then I looked at it closely, and I'm like, this is not Hello Kitty. Like, I don't know what this is. It's definitely a very big knockoff of Hello Kitty. Like, it looks so strange range so sadly it did not grab that and every like bin we looked in it just had not vintage stuff like these are all just like newer things though I actually did pick that up I picked up the Ninja Turtle but yeah they had um, Palm Pals which I absolutely love I wish they had more I totally would have picked one up this garage sale would have been really nice if we hit it right when it opened, but we were just a little bit too late to the party. We were here in the afternoon, but they had a lot of vintage stuff, so I just like can't imagine what they had when they first opened up in the morning. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. This one had a lot of VHS tapes, but a lot of them weren't in the greatest condition. But I did spy a sealed Arthur VHS tape, as you can see now. Um, thank goodness I looked through these ones, so that was a nice find. Found the Muppet movie on VHS. There were some fun CDs, like NSYNC's Christmas album, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Okay, pretty bad garage sale day um this is pretty much the best we got some beanie babies that's just the reality of the weekend some little praying ones and i'll show you everything else upstairs but yeah not good not good dad did get some hats with the tags right yeah. they have the tags on it they're from the 90s yeah so 98, 98, you gotta look them up. And then that Olympic one from McDonald's. Lily Hammer. It has McDonald's on it. 94. That's pretty cool. You're right. So those are pretty nice. I mean, oh, oh we already showed that. This. <laughs> An Easter tree. Oh, what a day. I'm back. As you just saw, um, it did not go very well today. You have good weekends, you have bad weekends. Today was a bad weekend. Um, but I will show you some stuff first. Me and Rylan over at um, the Retro Bin here on YouTube and Instagram. He um, did a trade with me and I got an Arthur backpack steel sealed from the 90s in 1998. Oh my gosh, this is a sticker. The tag is a sticker. It says peel here. Oh my gosh. But how cute is this? So I think I'm gonna sell this on my Etsy shop since it's like easy to ship. So if you're interested, keep your eyes peeled. Um, the second best item of the day. 
this is a little Winnie the Pooh sweat set. Um, I don't know what year this is from, but I'm pretty darn sure it's vintage. Are you kidding me? I think it's too small to fit my nephew, so um, my one of my besties is pregnant. So I think I might give it to her so that her future child can wear this. And then I'm gonna tell her to give it back to me so my future child can wear this. But isn't that so adorable? I actually am obsessed. Like, oh, maybe it will fit my nephew. I don't know, I might see if it'll fit my nephew first. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I got so many random things today. Like, this is a little Mickey party time. Exciting new party game. I think you dress him up, but like you're blindfolded. It's like pin the something on Mickey Mouse. I don't know, but I got it. I did pick up another Arthur item. This is a sealed VHS tape from 1997. Arthur's baby in great condition. This was a cool one. This is a Cabbage Patch board game from 1984. It looks like it's all there and it's in a really good condition as well. Pretty sure we just sold one in our antique booth, so this will be going in the booth. Yeah, I really did not get much today. I had like a handful of items left. I did get a Ninja Turtle plush. I've sold these in my booth before, so I grabbed it. Um, this is a little sealed Barbie toy from McDonald's that I'm gonna put in my loot scoop. I got a little, well, your hair, uh, My Little Pony. What year are you from? I didn't actually check. I think it's from McDonald's. 2005, a 2005 McDonald's My Little Pony. If it's not worth that much, I'm just gonna put it in my loot scoop as well. And the last items I got were all of the Kelly dolls. So we have this Kelly Presh. Um, I don't, I think this one might be someone else. I don't know if this is Kelly. Are the different colored hair ones still Kelly or do they have different names? Please let me know. Then we've got this one. I feel like they're just Kelly. Are they Stacy as well? This one. This one. And a precious little one. So that's everything. And we were out since um what time 8 45 and i just got back and it is 4 30. i mean we did stop at the nerd sale for about 30 minutes um but yeah it's just every single garage sale we hit it just wasn't great we went to so many that i didn't even film because there was nothing to film you walk in you walk out so i might have to go thrifting on monday to kind of make up for today <laughs> If it's up to me, you are.